Hello everyone, I'm Daniel Jaffris, and I'm here today to talk to you about traversable wormholes. Wormholes are a phenomena that can exist in curved space-time. You may have heard of wormholes in science fiction, say in the movie Interstellar. Wormholes are a connection between two different parts of space, like a tunnel in the fabric of space-time. Imagine I have a black hole. Black holes we know exist in the universe. They're formed by the collapse of very massive stars. When you fall into the horizon of a black hole, you're doomed and can never escape. If the black hole is connected by a wormhole to another region of space, you could pass through the horizon and come out somewhere else. So no one has ever seen a wormhole before, but we can ask whether they could exist given the laws of physics that we understand. Now, usually, the role of theoretical physics in the context of cool things like wormholes that we may love from science fiction is to say that they can't happen. And so it's especially exciting for me to have worked on this project with my student, Ping Gao, and with Aaron Wall, since we discovered that in a certain configuration, it would be possible to have a traversable wormhole. An important feature of traversable wormholes is that light rays must bend outward in order to escape on the other side of the wormhole. This kind of defocusing of light rays is the opposite of the effect that gravity usually has. Normally, positive mass and positive energy will cause light rays to focus. Therefore, a wormhole requires negative energy. For that reason, people usually believed that it would be impossible to make traversable wormholes. Because of quantum effects, it is possible to have negative energy for a short time. However, in normal circumstances, the average energy is still positive. What we discovered is that in a particular configuration, it is possible to have negative energy persists over a long time, that would enable one to make a wormhole traversable. If you started with two black holes that were highly quantum entangled, the interior of the two black holes would actually be connected by a non-traversable wormhole. You couldn't travel from one side to the other. The throat, or einstein rosen bridge, connecting these two black holes would collapse too rapidly for anyone to be able to get out the other side. Our configuration involves directly sending signals between the two black holes in the ambient space-time. Quantum effects then imply that it is possible to have a small amount of negative energy form inside the wormhole. This enables some to be able to traverse the wormhole and exit on the other side. Now, although this work shows that it is in principle possible to form traversable wormholes given the laws of physics as we understand them. It will be very difficult to do so in practice. One needs two highly quantum entangled black holes. This is not easy to find. Although black holes are plentiful in the universe, they are formed from stellar collapse and they will not be entangled with other black holes to the extent necessary. However, it is in principle possible to form entangled pairs of black holes. Then all that would be required is to establish a direct interaction between them through the ambient space. This would cause the interior connection between the two black holes to slightly open up, allowing traversability. Thank you so much for listening. And if you enjoyed this video, sign up for the channel 